Madison Square Garden Productions presents a 10-round heavyweight bout between George Foreman of Hayward, California and Luis Perez of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Good evening, everyone. I'm Don Dunphy, your ringside commentator at Madison Square Garden. Undefeated in 31 professional fights, former Olympic champion George Foreman hopes to take another step tonight in his march to a title shot with champion Joe Frazier. His opponent, rugged Luis Perez, has other ideas. Rather than being a stepping stone for George, Perez hopes to put a chalk under his bandwagon. It should be an exciting evening. We'll have more about these fighters when we return to Madison Square Garden right after this message. Here's big George Foreman, who many regard as the future heavyweight champion of the world. George is six feet four and weighs 215 pounds. He was born in Marshall, Texas 23 years ago, was raised in Houston, and now lives in Hayward, California. A 1968 Olympic champion has won 31 professional bouts, all of them, scoring 28 KOs. His biggest victory was an awesome two-round blasting of George Chivalo. He's got all the equipment. Foreman is rated just behind champion Joe Frazier and ex-champion Muhammad Ali in the rankings. And now Luis Perez, the rugged South American. Luis was born in Minas Gerais, Brazil, 32 years ago. He's six feet two, and at the New York Commission weigh-in this morning, came in at 214 and three quarters, a quarter pound lighter than George Foreman. Perez is a good belter with either hand, a fine body puncher, and a fair boxer. His drawback is that he's slow. He's won 18 of his 26 bouts with seven losses and a draw. He's KO'd 11 and was stopped four times, always on cuts. He's never been floored, and he's not been cut lately. In his last 10 fights, Perez has scored eight knockouts, had a draw, and suffered a decision loss to Ernie Terrell. Perez is well-conditioned, conscientious, and tough. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And now, gentlemen. Johnny Addy. I would like to call up the two-time lightweight champion of the world, Carlos Ortiz. Come on up. Carlos Ortiz. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here are the ring officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Tony Castellano and Bill Recht. The timekeeper, Fred Abatello. Counting for the knockdowns, Tony Perez. Referee for the main event, Johnny Lo Bianco. Ten rounds. Introducing from Brazil. He's wearing blue trunks. He weighs 214 and three quarter pounds. Louis Perez. Perez. His nice opponent hand. from Hayward, California, he's wearing red trunks, he weighs 215, undefeated George Foreman. Foreman. Main event, big 10 hand rounds, for George, too. another bout to follow. Johnny Lobianco's instructions. They'll be wasted Harry, on Perez, he speaks no Foreman. English. You both have boxed in New York before. You're well acquainted with the rules. I'll review them for you. Three knockdowns in any one round automatically ends the bout. If you score a knockdown, go to a neutral corner and stay there. You must take an eight count. If you leave the neutral corner, the count will stop. If you are in a down position and the bell rings, the count will continue with the exception of the last round. On a clean fight, when neither you're close Perez and you're in the clinch, nor his manager, break, Captain Nelson, back. speak English. So take this up at all Chicky times. Chicky Ferrara in shake the corner now. with them speaks English, uh, but doesn't speak Spanish. They're wearing eight ounce gloves, and the scoring is on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system. If the rounds come out even on an official's card, and Johnny Lobianco gave you the rest of the rules. It's a ten round bout. At least that's what it's scheduled for. And Foreman wastes no time. Come on, George. Foreman can jab, can hit with either hand. Perez, regarded as a good body belter, with only a fair jab and a fair boxer. 
From the look on uh, Foreman's face, I'd say he's going to try to get this over quickly. Perez's hope is to wear, weather the early storm. Incidentally, of the three men, of the two men who have, uh, three men who have gone the limit with Foreman, two of them have been South Americans, Peralta and Davila. And Davila was also beaten by Perez. Perez looks a little gun shy in there. So he's got Madison Square Garden itis, but he's fought in this ring before. Let's go, George. Let's go, George. Those are solid jabs that Foreman is putting in there, and they are scoring. He's trying to bring down that guard. Well, that left hook had power, and the jab has power. Foreman looks like a man completely in control of himself and of the situation. A minute to go in round one, and Luis is bleeding from the nostrils. Testimony to Foreman's jab. Foreman almost swung himself out of the amphitheater. And he's got Perez in trouble, real trouble. Perez on the verge of being knocked out. We'll hope to get an interview with Foreman should he end this quickly. 20 seconds to go in the round. Perez trying to gamely fight back, but he's outgunned at the moment. Ten seconds to go in round one. He may make the round. Round two at Madison Square Garden. George Foreman in the red trunks and Perez in the blue trunks. You're looking in uh, color and Foreman's are just well, a little bit brighter, I think, if you're looking in black and white. Now Perez is starting to bob and weave and keep the gloves up to get away from that battering. And he took some battering in round one. Perez brings the crowd up with his efforts. Did get in a pretty good left hook. That uppercut hurt, and the left hook was a dazzler. But Perez's game. He's only uh, two inches shorter than Foreman, but he looks a lot smaller. Here they call out a knockdown. No knockdown, no, no, no knockdown. There would be a mandatory eight count of word a knockdown. Johnny Lobianco said no. is not landing those knockout punches solidly there to, to the side of the head. Pretty good punches by Perez. A minute to go in round two.
Perez may not be hurting Foreman, but he certainly is bothering him. Even the jab of Foreman is not as sharp as it was. Now, Perez obviously is tired from the first round. They are winging them here at Madison Square Garden. Ten seconds to go in round two. A beautiful body punch by Perez. And they battled after the bell. Oh. Round three at Madison Square Garden. And Foreman ran into one. Foreman's apparently been told to get it over with. To use the old cliche, it's a pair sixer. Perez is hurt again. You wonder what's keeping him up. Oh, that was right in there. Perez almost helpless on the ropes, but his courage is still there. His arms are heavy. No knockdowns yet, and Perez comes back. <laughs> Perez apparently too tired to get his hands up. Every so often, Perez bombs one back. It may not land, but it looks good. A minute to go in round three. Perez bleeding from the mouth and the nose. Foreman relentless in the attack. Cannot seem to get that clean shot in there. seconds to go in the round. It's been one-sided, but Perez tries to make a fight of it. Ten seconds to go in round three. doesn't get far out of his corner when Foreman's on top of him. The crowd has been, some of the crowd has been getting on Foreman for not being able to finish Perez. But Perez is a tough, rough customer who's never been floored. Now Foreman's coming in as though it were a gymnasium workout. He's leaving himself wide open, Foreman is. Perez is dreadfully tired. Come <laughs> on. 
Perez bleeding from the mouth and the face. Every so often, Perez winds up and throws. Foreman is not putting the power in the punches now. He's looking for a, a spot. And Perez's face is becoming a crimson mask. A minute to go in round four. You know, you have to wonder, maybe Foreman is getting arm weary. He isn't snapping them in there as he did in the first two rounds. Oh, that was a snap one. Ten seconds to go in this round. There's game Luis Perez coming back to his corner. We started to tell you who was in the corner before. His manager, Abram Katzenelson, with his back to us. Facing us is Chicky Ferrara. Here's Dr. Edward Campbell of the New York Commission. And I don't know if he speaks Brazilian, but he's trying to talk to Luis, and now he's talking to the referee, giving him some kind of instructions. Chicky Ferrara is in the corner with Perez, and so is Anton. Sanchez Govan. It has been a one-sided fight. And let's see, I think they are going to stop it. Are they? No. Johnny, Johnny, are you stopping it? The referee has stopped the fight. Johnny Lobianco has stopped the fight. And the winner by a technical knockout is George Foreman, who goes over to commiserate with uh, Perez, Louis Perez, his Johnny Addy. permitted to come out for round five. The winner at the end of the fourth round by a TKO, George Foreman. There we have it. The fight was stopped by the referee, not allowing Louis Perez to come out for the fifth round. And the winner is George Foreman. Dick, come on over here with George, huh? There's big George Foreman. Um, uh, Want to get on the other side, Dick? Yeah. A lot of folks think we'll be the next heavyweight champion of the world after Joe Frazier, possibly. George, uh, I want to congratulate you first. And yet, I've got to be honest, a lot of the crowd seem to be disappointed that you couldn't stop Perez after your big assault on him in the first round. Just a minute, Dick, huh? Well, I was anticipating on going a lot more rounds myself. Were you? Yeah, but he took a bad, vicious beating from his head, you know. There's a cut bigger than he is in my head. And, you know, I'm a little big to keep digging in round after round until a man's head when it's open. Were you afraid at any time in the third and fourth rounds that you might hurt him? Well, you know, after I dug that hole in his eye, I really was. But I can't stop beating a guy. No. When he started laying up a rope against the rope, that means he was helpless then. But I had to keep continuing to do something. Did when a guy leans up on the rope, he's through. Did he hit you solidly at any time? Not really. Hit me on my shoulder, you know. Uh-huh. I'm really lucid with my shoulder. Well, you now, know. do you think you're ready for uh, Joe Frazier? Well, I was ready for Perez tonight, and I think I've just made a great accomplishment. And now I'll go back into the gym and practice more. And, well, for good luck and grace from the Lord, I'll be ready for everybody eventually. Uh, thank you very much, George, and good luck to you. Now I'm going to talk to Dick, and he's he's awful easy to talk to you now. Look out there. <laughs> thank you, George. Sandy, good luck. Say hello to all my L.A. buddy, Dorothy and all. Oh, good. 
Yeah, yeah Don. Dick, well, yeah. give us your version of this fight, huh? Well, just about, just about like what it all amounts to is that the guy took a bad beating. And uh, everybody that figures that he didn't should have been there. And it was, I mean, what the hell, if he'd have had any chance or if he'd have been punching any, or if he'd have been defending himself any, or if he'd have been landing any, or if he'd had won one round. Uh, so, I mean, what the hell, you, it's, only, it's only so much a man can take and all, so right. after he takes it, and he took a beating and a pretty bad beating. What? He's all, you know, you hate these things. I hate it. It's, it and for what little money the guy making, it, it isn't worth it. And you can ruin a man. And George is a, is a big 220-pound man, and he hits and he hurts. And there's no doubt in my mind about him not going to knock him out. If the rough read don't come to his rescue, he's got knocked out. Don't worry about it, because he was flopping and floundering all over the ring. Now, now Dick, one huh? more question. Where do you think you stand in the heavyweight picture? Right where we always was, I guess, just trying to be a contender, trying to work our way for a title shot. I, we haven't changed. We've improved on our record. We've never lost. No, oh, that's right. Uh, nobody else in, in the ratings as, uh, pro, as, as at this particular time has, uh, has the record that we have. And so all we're doing is trying to work towards the title shot. Well, I know you want to fight Joe Frazier, but would we you don't fight care Muhammad who, Ali? We don't care who has it. If, he, if Muhammad Ali has the title, we'll fight Muhammad. We want to fight the champion. 